Hello there. Uh, my name is Enrico. I'm the product manager for Tamburg Endpoints in the Americas. And we'd like to talk to you today about a feature of the C90 platform called image compositing. So first we're going to start with a little demonstration of image compositing, which is the ability to send multiple images or multiple windows arranged on the screen to the far end as one image or display locally on a monitor. And we're using it right now. I'm sending you uh, my PC, my main camera, and a background image that's provided from a Macintosh computer all at the same time on one composite image. So let's take a look at some of the more popular layouts that we've had people ask us for in the past. This one is if you have a seating area that has let's say raised seating it's an auditorium style and you have you want to have one camera for the upper part of the seating and another camera for the lower part of the seating so upper and lower cameras we can do that background of your choice this could be uh, logos with the name of the educational institution or the company name whatever it is background of your choice it's being generated by a PC so it can obviously be whatever it is you want it to be another popular layout is side by side So I can move this around now and make this a side-by-side -side image where this would be for a wide classroom or wide conference room and you want to have this camera showing the left side of the room, this camera showing the right side of the room and being sent as one big wide image to the far end. Again, something we get a lot of requests for. Now let's change it a little bit and go to a layout that would be more suited for a distance education scenario for instance. This is my instructor camera, this is my student camera back here, and then I have my PC content. So I can be doing instruction over video conferencing, typical environment for a uh, distance education scenario. Sending everything as one source, not even to worry about dual streams. But I'm sending you three images, I can actually send you up to four. So let me add in my document camera. Now my document camera here is represented by Jack. And uh, let's say I'm teaching a class and we're talking about Jack and I'm going, but you know, Jack's holding something in his hand. Let's take a closer look at what it is that Jack has. So I can move the window in real time and see Jack has a double cheeseburger in his hand, of course. That makes sense. But wait a minute. It says be greener. Actually, what we're talking about today is the ability to do collaboration effectively using video conferencing. So I'm going to change that. And the reason I did that was just to show you that this is real time, it's a live camera, and it could be a document camera or any camera source that, of your choosing. And now I'll send Jack back where he belongs so we can continue with the instruction. That's the end of the demonstration. I want to show you a few slides regarding this, and I'm going to use yet a different layout for that. This makes the uh, just the main camera and my presentation with a nice background on it. So what I've been showing you is image compositing and it exists today in the C90. I'm using production level software. This is not any type of beta software or hardware. And um, I'm using TC 1.1 software. And it's accomplished with API commands. You've seen me over at my PC, you know, activating command sets with macros is what I'm doing to arrange the, the windows on the screen. Um, in the third quarter, we're coming out with TC2.0 software, and image compositing is going to move into production at that time, no longer experimental. And we will provide a graphical user interface so that you can drag and drop images on the screen, position them, size them the way you want, assign sources to them, and then save that. So image compositing can be used now, but it does require programming, either a PC or a control system. And then in the summertime or in the TC 2.0 release in the third quarter, you'll be able to use a graphical user inter interface so that kind of an administrator person could do it. Um, again, you are not limited as far as where you place the windows or how big they are. I've got one window that's the entire screen. That's the green things you see. That's a background being generated from a Macintosh. And I can place the other windows up to four total anywhere I want on the screen to send to you. Any size, anywhere. The exception being that you can't have more than one that's full screen width, which you typically wouldn't want anyway. So let's talk about a little bit about the flexibility that this offers you. With image compositing built into the codec, instead of through an external box like an RGB spectrum or something, I can send a different 
composited image to my local monitor, say. In this case, I show you two local monitors, and the first one has source number four as a pip on top of source number one. You see monitor two has a completely different layout. It's got five sources all being displayed at the same time, and there are different sizes than the windows on local monitor number one. All right, so I have a lot of flexibility there. I can send up to five windows or frames to each of my local monitors. In addition, each far end system, when I'm in a video call, can get its own layout. I can send up to four frames or windows to the far end. I sent you four earlier. That's all I have. I wanted to uh, give you a demonstration of image compositing and a brief explanation. I hope this has been helpful. If you need more information, please feel free to contact your Tamburg account rep or sales engineer, and we'd be glad to help you out. Thank you.